It came today. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Gracie, what do you think? Ah! I think this is the stand. I'll grab that in a second. Another box? Come on. In my shot right now. Hey! Oh, am I? <laughs> yeah. It's ugly. Pretty bad biting, honestly. Right, so before I unbox this thing, we're gonna test it out and play it. I'm gonna give you my first thoughts on how I feel about this, but this is for my church inheritance. It is one of the top tier 88 key weighted key bed MIDI controllers out there right now. That's the one we got. So today I'm just gonna unbox it for you guys. We're gonna test it out, play it. I'm just gonna kinda show you my thoughts on this keyboard controller. I started off classically trained, and so I know and can feel a big difference between a nice weighted key bed and a real piano. So I'm gonna give you my perspective, my thoughts as a piano player, and we will get into it. So stay tuned. Oh my gosh. You guys see that? There's another box inside of the second layer box. Pretty nice feel. The one thing that's kind of weirding me out is it feels nice going down. You press it, but when you go up, there's almost like a delay. Like I can actually press it really quickly if I need to, but for some when I like play a big note like that or a big chord, it's just very like feels like slow. Like it doesn't respond to my finger moving up. I feel like there's a huge market gap for just something that's really nice and simple. A nice simple MIDI controller that has an amazing key bed. Looks cool and just plays beautifully. I thought this was closest to that though for not being like, you know, a Nord which would be probably three times the cost of this. We'll connect this up. I think that it can be powered just using a laptop. Um, but we're going to connect it up and we're going to just jam through some sounds, see how we, uh, yeah, see what's up. I'll plug in a pedal to it. We'll jam a little bit. I think we actually have laptop, laptop stand attachment in here. That's nice. Very nice. Let's sit right here. Oh my goodness, that is a perfect fit. That's very nice. I won, won a couple points there. Man, it's nice just to have that connect. That connection right there. I usually use this thing to map my keyboard sounds. I think that most people use it, but on this keyboard, you might honestly just be able to map it straight to these faders. You've got power in here, but I think that it can also be powered through USB. If it can, that would be awesome. That'd be super nice. Powers, very nice. You gotta watch out for your adapter that you use. I guess some of them work, some of them don't. This one has been my go-to because it's really nice. It's got three USB ports, but apparently just doesn't work with this. Yeah. Alright, after tweaking, it's uh, she's working a little bit better now. But yeah, we'll just uh, keep messing around with this.
that's pretty. That was easy. Let's find a more expressive, less good sounding piano. Overall, it feels pretty good. The last keyboard that our church had, I forget what exact brand it was, but it was like one of those, it's a nicer keyboard that had built-in sounds. I think it was like probably triple the cost of this again. And this definitely feels equal, if not better than that piano sound. This piano does its job as far as key bed. I almost wish that we could wipe out some of these, like this other section of buttons so that I could put something else down here that I wanted to. But for what it does and for the cost, it's the best at what it does right now. As I said before at the beginning of this video, I think that there's a huge opportunity for keyboard manufacturers. Something I would love to see is a top tier keyboard like this that's pretty much just stripped down to nothing on the top, fantastic key bed, options for your laptop stands, for any other MIDI controllers, and just pretty much just an aesthetic keyboard that we can use as a MIDI controller for uh, software. That would be huge, honestly. Overall, it does its job. I'm stoked to have it. Probably gonna keep jamming out here, gonna keep making some music. So thanks for watching this review. I don't do many reviews on this channel, but if you like this one, subscribe for more content about music production, the process of making music. That's what this channel is about. So subscribe if that's your thing, if you've enjoyed this. And have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.